Welcome back to Monster Rancher Evo. As I said in the last episode, we're just sort of in a training binge right now as we try to get everybody back to having decent numbers for when we tackle the... Ooh, time to put on a show. For when we tackle the sewers again. My main goal is I want to get all three of the main monsters, which is Leon, Derpy, and... Arshia, uh, I want to get everybody to 300 life before I try it again. So that might be one more training session after this. Ah, crap. I meant to schedule the show for next week. Whoops. Oh, well. One additional week of motivation. Okay. So we have our plan, and it should work. It's, ah, ha, ha. It's just not easy. All right. Uh, so we have our plan. I'm sure it's going to work because it sort of kind of worked when I did it in my side file. Although, I did sort of, uh, <laughs> I, I found a little, uh, uh, money move in my side file that basically broke the sewers. And I can't do that here because I don't have a tiger. But if I get a tiger, and if I... In fact, use the same disc I used the last time around to get a tiger. Then I'm probably going to break the sewer level again. But we'll see. Uh, different team, different dynamics, different everything this time around. Although I... Did I use a Naga? Pretty sure I used my... I'm pretty sure I rolled up another Naga for my side file, since that is still my favorite. Someone believe it's Archmage Kalen? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm starting to mix up who gives me comments. But anyway, somebody suggested that I play Monster Rancher on the DS, I believe. And the way you do monster generation on the DS is you just type in a four-character code. And apparently if you type in the word Naga, you get a pure Naga. Couldn't be easier. I love it. And that may or may not be the next one we do. I still need to do a proof of concept test for Monster Ranchers 1 and 2 to see if they work on my emulator. Since God knows I can't capture them with my current hardware setup for whatever reason. But we will uh, deal with that later. No reason to think that far ahead when we are still enjoying Monster Ranger Evo. And honestly probably haven't even really scratched the surface of this game yet. Especially since... Definitely for this Let's Play save file, it's... Uh, we are still in Town 2. I tend to... Whoops. There we go. Take a sip. Anyway, I have this bad habit of unnecessarily comparing myself to other Let's Players. Those of us, those of you, Hawks, who have been with me a long time know that, and I have not been shy about it. Uh, I feel that being open and honest and transparent about that kind of thing, including my own insecurities, makes me not only more relatable, but also helps you understand where I've come from, and, I don't know, maybe makes you realize that uh, if you have similar personality traits, you are not alone in the world. But, uh, regardless of the reasons, um, I will say that I glanced over a few Let's Plays. Actually, what happened was... I watched my last episode, as I always do, before starting a new recording session, and I saw that there are a few other people who have done Let's Plays of Monster Rancher Evo, and 4, and 3, and almost everybody has done them a lot faster than me, and I suppose it's a reverse dick measuring contest where I feel like I'm inferior by not being faster or something, which is dumb. Um, this actually leads me to something I wanted to mention about that I heard from the Game Grumps, although it doesn't relate to them directly. Uh, Ego Raptor mentioned he read a book from a game designer called The Art of Game Design or something to that effect. And in that book, and I wish I remembered who wrote it to give proper credit, but regardless, in that book, the designer said there are three types of gamers. Those who want to just sit back and relax and enjoy themselves. Those who want to collect everything. And those who want to be the absolute best at a given game. Type C players are usually the ones who play competitive games like COD and LOL and whatever. 
fighting games, obviously. Um, but I am definitely among those three groups. I'm definitely a type A with maybe a dash of type B, assuming there are achievements or whatever that are easily gettable or collectible. Um, in fact, honestly, if a game wants me to collect everything, the best thing they can do is give me a map of it. Like the Ubisoft games nowadays that are, as Jim Sterling calls them, icon clearing. All it is is you go from icon to icon on the map, do the task, and move on, whether you're talking Assassin's Creed or Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, that's pretty much what they are, for better or worse. I like them. If I see icons on the map, I will go get the icons, but I won't go out of my way to find hidden icons, generally speaking. But my point is, I am a type A gamer out of those three types, and as a result, I don't care so much about being fast, usually. I don't really derive any pleasure from being the best or being the fastest, yet I want to be, I just never want to take the time to get that good. I don't know what that says about me, I don't know if it even says anything, but I've always known that kind of aspect of my personality. I feel like I don't take it to the extreme. For example, I do wish there was a way I could snap my fingers and get rid of my stomach fat, but without any actual work, like, you know, eating right or exercising. Um, but at the same time, I don't bemoan it. It's just one of those, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could just not ever get fat and then I move on with my life, you know, while I down some nachos. But um, video games are kind of the same way where part of the reason I'm not a type C gamer is because I never want to get into how long it takes to do that. Uh, I It takes effort. It takes effort, practice, and skill to become really, really, really good at a game. Hold that thought. Apparently, Nayuda had her fortune told. Oh, really? What did he say? A mountain is grateful even for dead trees. What's that? Some kind of puzzle? It means that having something is better than having nothing. It's not true. Having chlamydia is a lot worse than not having chlamydia. So, I guess it's better to hold on to something worthless because it might be useful for something. Hmm, interesting. But Windlord, go to the shop later and buy the cheapest food you can find. It might just be worth something to us. Alright. Sure. I'll get right on that. Since, you know, we're not doing anything else important right now. Ugh. Anyway. So, yeah, I am, um... I don't know. I, uh... What was I saying? Oh, oh, oh. So, like, the reason I'm not a Type-C gamer is because I don't ever want to take the time to get good at a game. And... I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't necessarily need my games done for me. You know, like, uh, when Nintendo makes its, uh, accessibility options, which I am not against, I love, but, like, you know, you die so many times on a Mario level and there's a golden invincibility leaf, you don't have to take the golden invincibility leaf. And I don't, because for that I like the challenge of actually completing the goal. But at the same time, I'm no speedrunner. I never will be a speedrunner. And the cheapest... There's like four food... There's like bunches of foods. Let's get a... Let's get a... Let's get an ethnic. We'll get one ethnic. Maybe that'll help us out in the future. I'm no speedrunner. I have no interest in getting to later boards. And most of the time I don't even have an interest in completing achievements or... Whoa. About the fortune, teller, fortune teller's prediction. We never did figure it out, did we? But nothing seemed to be the right answer. I can't help but wonder what was supposed to happen. If we ever get our fortune told again, let's try harder to figure it out. Oh. Okay, I guess I done goofed, but I don't know how I done goofed. I did what she said, I bought the cheapest food. Maybe I should have bought one of each food to see what would have happened. Well, whatever. Whoops. We are good to go, buddy. So, I am definitely, as I've gotten older, I've gotten more type A as far as gamering 
gamering, being a gamer, whatever goes. Um, I, I don't... I, I don't care anymore about being the best. I just don't. I don't have time. I want to enjoy the game. And that's the other thing, like... I do also have that personality exp personality trait where I'm looking for new experiences constantly. So I'm trying... I would prefer trying a bunch of games even if I don't complete them just to experience something new than I would picking one game and being the absolute best at it. I mean, there's, there's a point... There's obviously a point where your natural abilities play into it. It's why professional, like, literal professional gamers, not when I do my stupid little bullshit, but, like, actual competitive professional gamers tend to run young because you get to a certain point, your flexibility slows down, your reaction time slows down, and so on. I don't think I'm any worse of a gamer now than I was when I was a teenager, but I also never had the, what is it called, like, the pure macro, the actions per minute kind of stuff, like, that was never my thing. I tend to be more tactical and I try to think, and that's why I like games like chess over StarCraft. So, and I'm not even very good at chess either, because, again, I've never found one game that I've wanted to devote entire chunks of my life to, to become better at. If I am good at games like Rise of Nations or Age of Empires 2, it's because I played them a lot when I was a kid. And it's not so much that I tried to get better. It's that when you do something enough times, you're going to wind up getting better at it. And that's what happened back then. So, um, like with Final Fantasy VI, the reason I have the touch on it is because I love the game as much as I do. And I've played it a dozen times if not more and red strategy guides and all that so that's the only reason i'm good at that one but even with final fantasy 6 i haven't memorized how to blitz the game because the way you speed around final fantasy 6 is there's a bug in it where if you do a few certain button presses you can influence an insta kill move from one of the characters and you can do that through everyone including the final boss which is great but I don't care. I don't care enough to blitz Final Fantasy VI or any other game enough to learn all the little tricks and things. It's just not my interest. And I don't know if that makes me a scrub. I don't know if that makes me a noob. I know that so-called elite gamers think that makes you bad. Like, the so-called elite gamers are the type C's who think everybody should be type C and don't realize that, you know, there's more than one personality in the world. But... Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm too old now and too tired to try to change people's minds about crap. And really, it doesn't matter. I mean, the fact that you're watching this episode, I've noticed that there is a pattern among my fans, and most of you guys are probably type C's as well, with maybe a little mix of... Or, not type C's. You are mostly type A's, with maybe a little bit of type C in there. Um, because... Most of the Type C's who find my show don't stick around because they don't like my style. They prefer seeing other Type C gamers playing and, uh, you know, wrecking shit, as it were. Which is also fine. You know, I don't begrudge anyone who doesn't play games exactly how I do. How, blah, exactly how I do, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. No one should dictate... You're, the way you have fun, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, you know? And, you know, it's it's sort of like... It's sort of like anything else. Like, you know, I, I disagree, or... Oh, here's a better way to put it. Like, I don't derive any pleasure from... Uh, adrenaline rushing activities like bungee jumping or uh, skydiving or whatever. Um, that shit's scary. And... Granted, the fear is what makes it enjoyable, the adrenaline rush and the dopamine rush and, uh, you know, you get your heart pumping and I get it. I, I get why that would be interesting, but it's not my cup of tea, but I also don't judge anyone about it and I've known plenty of people who don't judge people. Um, one of my, uh, one of my closer friends, his 
way to cope with life and relax and have fun is to drink and not surprisingly not to excess he's not an alcoholic he's just he drinks and that's how he gets through life that is what his enjoyment is more power to him i don't care he doesn't drink around people who shouldn't be around alcohol he doesn't beat his wife when he drinks he doesn't uh get on the road while he's drunk like whatever more power to him man and video games especially should i feel have that kind of attitude like you know there is a place and an audience and games to give to that audience for any kind of niche or genre or type you may think like if you are a type c gamer there's fighting games and rts's and dark souls and you know those kinds of games and you know no one should be able to tell you that you should not play dark souls or whatever but at the same time people like me who don't want that kind of challenge and just want to i guess use video games as an escape to turn my brain off for half a minute um you know that's what i want to do and i've been thinking a lot about this recently because i'm frustrated more and more at how much hate there is in the world and how much hate god this is me going on a soapbox and i semi apologize but hey what else are we gonna do while we're just sitting here watching ayuda dance um but i i dislike how much hate there is in the world and how much how much we're at each other's throats constantly and i don't know how much of it's real and how much of it is just amplified by the volume of social media and such but that said uh, you know i've i've come to this point where i feel that life is too short to uh to get caught up in hate and all that like it, it takes effort and if i'm gonna if i'm going to expend my energy i'd rather expend my energy creating something and you know trying to have a little bit of fun with a few people who have deemed me worthy of enjoying their time with and you know that's all i want to do i, I kind of want to uh i just kind of want to be but the gaming industry especially with how much it's uh, with how much adrenaline and whatever there is among the audience there's been a lot of fights and a lot of arguments online and i just don't want any part of it and Recently, I have actually considered exiting the game industry, which is kind of stupid to even consider. Um, I mean, what am I going to do? Just stop playing video games entirely and, I don't know, do something else with my life? I mean, you know, I, I don't... I didn't really have a plan beyond just, like, I don't want to hear this bullshit anymore. But it's a weird, delicate balance because I also don't want to stick my head in the sand and not listen to any gaming news or anything like that. So I've just settled on... Enjoying the games I have, and thorough... Okay, let's change up Arshia's trick. Um, I've, uh... uh so, yeah, I, I research my games, I do due diligence, and I stop worrying so much about what people believe to be the games I should be playing kind of thing. Um... You know, I just try to get through life anymore. Play the games I want to play and enjoy what I want to enjoy. So, that is my two cents, I suppose. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much with that. Okay, so... I need to look up intel on how Leon is doing at the moment. No, please give me a break. I I didn't mean to change monsters. I want to look up intel. Can I not look up the stat numbers for you? I guess I can't. All right, fine. So power defense or accuracy. Let's go with power defense again. Um... Because I don't remember... I'm thinking I should give him accuracy, but I can't remember where Leon's accuracy is at, and I can't get access to their numbers from here, I don't believe. Yeah, I can't I can't get anyone's number... Wait, can I... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. I still don't have hard numbers, but I can at least see the graph, you know? Um, 
Man, maybe I should put... Give accuracy to Leon, because he's a little shy right now. Behind power and defense, rather. So we'll give him the knife kit. Only because I don't have a choice. It has to be the one I pick. And give me a second while my video decides to unbutt itself. What? What? Which one did I give you? You have accuracy. Okay, yours is accuracy life, and this one is... Accuracy, accuracy. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with the way this is set up now. So, what I'm going to do is... Oh, I guess I'm going to call the episode because we're over 20 minutes. But, uh, so, we'll probably need to do one more training session to get Arshia's life over 300, but everybody else has is beyond that threshold. So, we should be good to go. So, we'll probably do one more showtime and then head back into the sewers. Hopefully do that in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.